All right, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. You're getting an Instant Pot for Christmas this year. It's just gonna happen. So today I'm gonna share my top 10 best Instant Pot recipes that you wanna make first when you get that Instant Pot. Instant Pot ham. I love cooking ham in the Instant Pot. So this is a spiral ham. It's already been pre-cooked, so you really don't have to do much to it other than add a lot of flavor and heat it up. So that's what your Instant Pot is for. So I have a half a cup of brown sugar that we're just gonna dump in here. Then we have a half a cup of honey. I'm kinda just gonna eyeball it. Um, because really, you can never have too much honey. Then we have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We'll just pour on top. Again, I'm just gonna kinda eyeball. So we have a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm just gonna put those in here too. Once it's nice and all mixed together, now it's time to put everything into the Instant Pot. So you wanna put a trivet onto the bottom of the Instant Pot. Now you don't want a high trivet, you want one that's pretty low. So trivet on the bottom. Next we're gonna add a cup and a half of water, so we'll just pour that into the bottom of the pot because it has to pressurize, right? We're gonna take some of our sauce, put it in between each piece and just kind of spread it around a little bit. Transfer it over. It's gonna be kind of a tight fit. Continue basting this little guy. Okay, so we're gonna put the lid on. There we go. We're gonna push the pressure cook button. All you have to really do is get it warm. So we're gonna go all the way down to four minutes. So once the timer is done, you had your four minutes of cooking, you can go ahead and release the pressure. Once all the pressure's out, carefully open your lid. There we go. And you guys, your ham is done. It is all done. Ooh, there we go. Oh my gosh. It is delicious, absolutely delicious. My Instant Pot mac and cheese. So we're gonna start with one pound of elbow macaroni. Then we're gonna do four cups of chicken broth. So we're gonna pour it all in. We're gonna put the lid on now. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna turn this little knob to sealing. Okay, once it's on sealing, then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna push the manual button or the pressure cook button. And we're gonna go down to just four minutes. Pasta only takes four minutes to cook. So once it's all done cooking, you're gonna have it say L. There's a little pin that will drop. That means that you can open your lid safely. Oh, and if you can see, the pasta is cooked perfectly. Mix your noodles around a little bit. We're gonna push the saute button. First, we're gonna push the cancel, and then we're gonna push the saute button. So we're first gonna add a half a cup of milk. And I'm just gonna eyeball this a little bit. And then about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. You don't have to add the Dijon, I just like, it just gives it a little bit of a kick. And then just a dash of hot sauce. You can use your favorite hot sauce. I just like the extra flavor that it gives it. And then last we're gonna add just two tablespoons of butter. So I'm just gonna mix these things in there right now. So once the butter is all melted, now we're just gonna add two cups of cheddar cheese. All right, once your cheese is melted and everything is melted and mixed together, go ahead and push the cancel button. Oh man, these noodles smell so good. It's literally the same thing. You're just cooking your noodles and adding everything else when you're done. Instant Pot Creamy Enchilada Soup. You're gonna start by putting two or three chicken breasts in the bottom of your Instant Pot. Next, you're gonna add two cloves of garlic. Next, you're gonna add one teaspoon of chili powder. Next, you're gonna add one teaspoon of Worcestershire. One teaspoon of that sauce. <laughs> Then add one teaspoon of Tabasco sauce in it. Then on top of that, I'm gonna add one small chopped onion. Next, add one chopped red pepper, then one can of drained black beans. Then you're gonna add one can of corn. You're not gonna drain the corn, dump everything in. Next, add two cups of your favorite enchilada sauce. Then you're gonna add four cups of chicken broth. Next, you're gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. If you're doing the Instant Pot, make sure you turn the handle and make sure that the little thing is on sealing, not venting. With the Instant Pot, you're gonna go manual for 20 minutes. Now when it's done cooking, I did a quick release, so that means I pushed it over to venting and let all the steam out. 
and I'm gonna take the lid off. Now when you're done shredding your chicken, you're gonna add one half cup of cream and then about a half a cup of sour cream. Stir it in a little bit so the sour cream can melt and the cream will mix in pretty good. Next, you're gonna add two cups of cheddar cheese. Mix it really well until everything is melted and well combined. When it's all done, I like to serve it with cheese so the cheese is melting, some little tortilla strips, and cilantro on top. Instant Pot Beef Stroganoff. I love beef stroganoff. So I put a little olive oil in the bottom of my Instant Pot, pushed saute, and then I have stew meat that I threw in. Now I'm putting garlic salt, salt, and pepper in there. And now I'm just gonna mix it around so it will sear the meat just a little bit. So I'm gonna let it sear for just about two to three minutes and then I'll add some other things. So on top of the meat, you're just gonna add some onions and add half a teaspoon of garlic or one garlic clove. And then I added a whole container of mushrooms. Then you're just gonna mix it all up for a little while. You'll notice that the Instant Pot recipe is a little bit different than the slow cooker recipe. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour right now and then mix it all together. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you call it, it's that sauce. One tablespoon of it right on top. And then you're gonna pour three cups of beef broth right on top. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid on now. Make sure that it seals tightly and that it's on sealing, not venting. Then I'm gonna push the manual button and go up to 12 minutes. Now as soon as all the pressure is released, go ahead and take off the lid. So now I'm gonna add about 16 ounces of egg noodles. I'm gonna stir it around a little bit. So now you're gonna close the lid again, make sure that it's on sealing again, and then we're gonna cook it. Then push manual and go down to four minutes. That's how long noodles take to cook. So go ahead and take the lid off. Then you're gonna take one cup of sour cream and just pour it right in. Now go ahead and mix in your sour cream. Now if you noticed, mine has a little bit more liquid than I would like. You can go ahead and keep the saute button on and it will thicken up because of the flour that you put in there. Dr. Pepper pulled pork. Now you can have a one to three pound pork here. I'm gonna add, of course, my garlic salt and then one can of Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, then we're gonna add Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, about one cup right on top of your pork. All right, putting the lid on. We're going to sealing again because we want it to pressurize. Now we're gonna push manual and go up because three pounds, I usually go 50 to 60 minutes. This is a two pound pork, so we're going to 50 minutes. Now I let it release on its own for about eight to 10 minutes. Then I just switch it over so I can get rid of all the rest of the pressure so I can open the lid. Now I want my pork to shred easily for this shredded pork recipe. Now once it's done shredding, I'm gonna stick it back into my sauce and let it sit there for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can serve this on buns. I put a little extra barbecue sauce on top or you can serve it over your favorite salad. Spicy chicken and rice bowls. You're gonna first start with two cups of rice that you have rinsed and drained so the water runs clear and you'll dump it right into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Add two and a half cups of water right on top of the rice. Now it's time for the seasoning. Now I just added pepper to taste because I love pepper. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Next add one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then that should be it for the seasoning. So I have one can of black beans that I've rinsed and drained and then add one can of red enchilada sauce. I used a 10 ounce can there. Okay, so now I have two cups of shredded chicken. I like to have mine already cooked and chopped up, so it will make this recipe cook even faster. I just got a rotisserie chicken and chopped it all up. Now you're just gonna put the lid on, make sure that it's on sealing, not venting, sealing, and you are ready to cook it. I'm pushing manual, and because we just have to cook the rice, we're gonna go down to 10 minutes. All right, when it's all done, I flipped the knob over and did a quick release and then just carefully pull the lid off where it's still gonna be hot and steamy. But everything should be cooked all the way through. My favorite is the rice bowl. So I like to add cheese on while it's still hot so it can melt. Then add a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of guacamole, 
And then if you love cilantro, I love to add cilantro to the top. Instant pot lasagna. It's a pot in pot recipe. We're just gonna start with our springform pan. Like I said before, this is the three inch by the six inch. So you can get it a little bit bigger, the seven inch. We're gonna start with one egg. Then I'm gonna add one cup of ricotta cheese. Then when you're done adding the ricotta, you're gonna add your spices. So I have a half teaspoon of each one of these. We have salt, pepper, oregano, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. Then you're just gonna dump those all in. Next, we're gonna add one cup of mozzarella cheese. Then you're gonna mix everything until it's well combined. Now I am using oven-ready lasagna noodles, so I don't have to boil them, it makes it a lot easier. And now I am ready to put half of my cheesy ricotta mixture in there. Then you're just gonna spread it around the best you can. Now I'm just gonna take a handful of spinach leaves and just kind of tear them up and put them right on top of the cheese. Next I have a 24 ounce jar of just traditional spaghetti sauce. Then just spread the sauce around right over the spinach. Now you're just gonna repeat your layers. So you're gonna add your noodles again. Next you're gonna add the rest of the cheese mixture right on top of the noodles. Then just spread it all around. Now we're ready for the spinach again. So I just grabbed another little handful and I'm just ripping it up into pieces so it will lay as flat as I can get it. And again, you're gonna add a half of a cup of your spaghetti sauce or whatever sauce you love and just spread it around again. Now this is the last layer of noodles. Again, you're gonna add another half cup or so of your sauce, spread it around, and now for my most favorite part, the cheese. So I added about a half a cup to a cup. I like a lot of cheese, so I added about a cup. Now once you're done with that, you're gonna take a piece of foil and put it right on top of your springform pan. Now my Instant Pot came with a steam rack, and so that's what I'm gonna use today to cook my lasagna. All right, so now I'm just adding one cup of water because you need water for it to pressurize. Then I'm gonna put my pan right on top. Then you're gonna put your lid on, close it, and make sure that your thing is turned to sealing. You're gonna push manual and go up to 24 minutes. Then when it's done, you're gonna let it release on its own, so you're not gonna put it on venting for 15 minutes. So now I'm preheating my oven to 450 degrees. Take the foil off of your lasagna, put it in, and watch it for about two to three minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top. Chicken Alfredo. All right, so to get started, you're gonna push the saute button and we're gonna let that heat up to hot. Yes, okay, so you'll just wanna add about two tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of your Instant Pot. Then we're gonna add, this is about three pounds of chicken. Now you can see that we've kind of cut it into strips. Um, just, it will make it cook so much faster if it's cut smaller. Mm -hmm. You can hear sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So you're gonna do like three minutes okay. on each side. So we'll give them just a second, let them sit there. Okay. And then we'll just flip them over in about two to three minutes. So then just to season them up a little, we're just gonna do a little salt and pepper, just for taste, no direct measurement. Nah. And you know us, we usually just yeah. kinda eyeball things. You swing it. That's how it works here. <laughs> up a little bit. There we go. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. Nice. Okay, then we'll add one teaspoon of parsley into this. Nice. Let's add our pasta on top okay. and then we'll add on, on the, the broth. So we're gonna add just like one pound of the pasta. Yeah. We're just going to make sure that all the pasta is covered with liquid. So yes. right now, this is four cups of chicken broth that we're gonna put in here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put on your lid. Now if you have a little knob, make sure that it's turned to sealing. So you're gonna push the pressure cook button or the manual button. And then we're gonna go down to four minutes because our chicken's pretty much cooked. We just gotta cook the noodles and we're ready to go. Once the pressure is out, you can go ahead and safely take off the lid. To this, we're going to add cream cheese. Okay, while you're gonna do that, I'm gonna okay. put in like a fourth cup of Parmesan. And then this is just one cup of mozzarella. To help thicken it up, we're gonna take two tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and we're just going to mix it up a little bit. There we go. 
All right, so we're just gonna stir this for a little bit until it's nice and thick. Okay, so everything is stirred together. It's creamy, it's thickening up, and then we're just gonna serve this up. Never opposed to more cheese. <laughs> Never opposed to that. Especially with dealing with Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. And there it is, your finished product. Instant Pot Fall Off the Bone Ribs. So first I'm gonna add a lot of salt on top of my ribs and then a little bit of pepper. Next you're gonna grab some apple juice and pour about a cup to a cup and a half into your pot. You're just gonna cut them right down the middle. Try not to cut the bone and try and make the meat as even on both sides if you can. You're gonna put them inside the Instant Pot one on top of the other. Then put on your lid, make sure you seal it tight and always, always make sure it's on sealing, so it'll work. Then you're gonna press your meat stew button and go all the way down to 25. So now I'm just gonna check, yep, there's no pressure, so I'm gonna open it up. And the smell of these things are amazing. Go ahead and preheat your oven to broil, so it'll be about 550 degrees or broil. So I just did a few squirts of barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like, and then I just spread it around so it will be pretty even on each rib. Then when you're done, stick them in the broiler for about ooh, two to four minutes. You need to watch it so it doesn't burn your ribs. Now, instead of just dumping this applesauce, I'm gonna put some potatoes in it because I'm gonna have mashed potatoes with my ribs. This is totally optional. When you have your potatoes in, you're just gonna turn it, make sure it's sealed, then you'll push manual. You're gonna go up to 15 minutes. While those are cooking, my ribs are done and they look amazing. Now because I only put a few potatoes on, you can do a quick release and it won't splatter everywhere. So I just took them out, I mashed them up with my potato masher, and there you go. You have ribs and a perfect side of mashed potatoes. Instant Pot Tuscan Chicken. All right, so we're gonna start out with two cups of pasta. So you need two cups, which is about half of a 16 ounce container. Then we're gonna do also two cups of chicken broth. And again, this is four cups, so we're gonna just kind of eyeball it and yeah. put in our two cups of chicken broth. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter, two cups of chicken. Yep, cooked chicken. Cooked chicken, cooked and diced. Okay. Then it's time to cook it. All right. You're gonna put your lid on. You hear the little jingle, that means it's on correctly. So we're gonna push the pressure cook button and we're gonna go all the way down to about four minutes. It is finished cooking. We are going to do a quick release. I'm gonna either push this, or if you have the knob, move it to venting. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> We're gonna see how this works. All right, once all the pressure's out, you can safely open it. Nice. I love how big these noodles get, right? Yes. So right now, you're just gonna mix in your chicken and your pasta. I'm gonna start with the tomatoes. These are sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried, yes. So we did like four ounces of those. You yeah. can do up to eight ounces yeah. if you If love. your family loves them. Yes, yes. Okay, next time I'm just gonna add an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Um, we'll get that starting to melt in yes. there. Cut it Let's up. break it up. Yeah, it's a it good idea. It even faster. Okay, then we're gonna add about a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And we've got how much uh, parsley? One tablespoon. Cool. Okay, so we have half a teaspoon of pepper and what, half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Yep. Awesome. All right. Let me just dump that in. There you go. We've got how much milk? About half a cup. Okay. Melt that right on top. So this is gonna take a little while for the cream cheese to like melt and mix in. Yeah. So we're actually gonna help it along a little bit. So you're gonna push cancel and then you're gonna push the saute button. So we'll just help it. The other thing I'm gonna throw in while you're mixing that up and okay. heating up is just two cups of baby spinach. All right, so it's all mixed together. It smells amazing. We're gonna push cancel here so it will stop cooking because we don't want it to burn onto the bottom. Yes. It's Just amazing. And it tastes so good. Nice and creamy, totally cheesy. Your kids and the even husbands spinach are gonna love Yep, it. everybody loves this one. All right, you're all ready now. You can make an Instant Pot recipe and I have lots of recipes for you. Some of my favorite are right up there. All right, guys, thanks for cooking with me. I'll see you next time.